In our haste, I think we might put it in upside down. Cause Maybe. It's, it's really, really low. Mic drop. Simple as that. Drop it. Oh. Oh. Welcome back to Turbo Track Build Challenge. Last week we showed you our new Essen Motor Show giveaway car that we'd be modifying to attack the track. I think we can turn it into uh, a bit of a monster actually. And this week we're in the garage to get our hands dirty with the build. And because we've only been given a day to fit our performance parts, I think we need our backup. Should we do that? Yeah. Bring Three, it two, one. And here we uh, go. All right. But we're back in the garage. Where am I? This is uh, Gareth, everybody. <laughs> anyway, while I snap Gareth out of his power moves, let's take a closer look at our lovely new performance parts. For starters, we have a stainless Barstuck exhaust, which should help the Mini breathe better and sound awesome. Also on the list are a set of Ibox flagship Pro Street multi coilovers, which are also damping adjustable. And taking care of wheels are these beautiful Brayton Race GTSR 18 inch wheels, which are only 7.6 kilograms a corner. These are complemented by a set of Michelin Pilot Sport tyres for enhanced grip on track. To stop better, we'll also fit a set of performance pads, while acceleration, power and torque will be boosted by our race chip unit. And on a 2007 car with 130,000 kilometres or 80,000 miles on the clock, we'll be expecting a nice power hike to get us to that magic 200 horsepower figure. And in case you're wondering, yes, we'll be taking Klaus back to the dyno in episode 3 to find out exactly how much power and torque the race chip makes. We're going to start by swapping the suspension, which means wheels off and old spring and damper units out. And what with this being a newish car, we're not having to fight seized and rusted bolts for once. Result. The old suspension is then handed to our glamour assistant Jack, whose task it is to remove the top mounts for use later. We're gonna take off the exhaust system, which is really easy. This is pretty much all one system, so we'll just drop it down as a hole. There are two exhaust rubbers there, and there's another two over here. Should be quite nice and easy. It's gonna sound awesome as well. Yeah. Let's crack on. Now we're gonna get sexy. With stainless steel. With stainless steel. Stainless steel sexy. Yeah. I mean, look at this. This is gonna look really good. And it'll probably take 47 seconds to pop in. Starting <gasps> from now. Go. <laughs> Ooh. Right, I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna slip mine in. I'm gonna slip mine in. Oh God. Oh, oh no, we need to go back. Who's timing? <laughs> I've, got, I've got one bit of rubber in. I'm trying. Oh. It's so slippery. Oh, oh, yeah, I'm in. Okay, I'm in. Wait, wait, wait oh. for me. Wait oh. for me. <laughs> oh, I just, <laughs> I just broke me. my glove. I'm in. So there we go, 47 seconds. Done. Uh, in our haste, I think we might put it in upside down. Cause Maybe. It's, it's really, really low. And my head wasn't hitting that before on the exhaust. I, and I, I don't think I've grown, have I? Well, I haven't no, grown I don't since think you've grown. I haven't grown since I was 12. We were just, just too efficient. Speedy. Well, we weren't efficient because we put them upside down. We just need to swivel this one. Ah. So I was right, Gareth was wrong. Right. I'm going in again. Oh, I'm going in quite dry. There we go. That looks, that looks a lot better already. Oh, God. Oh. So what was that? That was probably about 48 seconds. Left. I'm going to round it up to 50. Oh, yeah, just, just to be safe. Oh, God. That was hard work. Yeah, I'm knackered. I didn't use enough lubricant. No. Should we go for a nap? I reckon so. Okay, After our nap, the next job is to swap out the standard brake pads for a set of performance pads, and just like the rest of the car, they slip in nice and easy. With the Eibach Pro Street Multi Suspension now ready to go, it's a simple case of bolting them in. Alright. Do you want a box? No. Oh. God. Oh wow. Jesus. See how quick that map. That was so, so satisfying. Oh. 
Right, so all the mods have been done to the Mini, bar the wheels and tyres, and obviously the, uh, the race chip. So, Ethan, would you like to join me? I just want to prove to you guys how idiot-proof this is. Well, probably won't need that. No? No, let's just... Now, you've done a little bit of research. I've, you, read, I've read the instructions. You've read the instructions. Yeah. So here's the engine, yeah. go at it, okay. give him some power. <laughs> How are you going to start? I need, don't need that end, that's the race ship end. I think I need the yellow end first. Who are you and what have you done with Ethan? I need this sensor, yep. pressure sensor. Yep. Oh, there we go. Look at that, nailed it. And so is I need- Is that the first sensor you've ever taken off in your life? I think it is, yeah. <laughs> that one. And then what are you doing? And then this plastic box comes out. Yep. Free, oh, free at last. Look at that. And then, Do you want me to hold him up there for oh you? Yeah, that'd be very helpful. Job's a good one. And then there's one more sensor yep. down there. That oh, one. Love that click. <laughs> it's very satisfying. Yeah. That one. That goes in there. Lovely. Do you need a break or anything? Are you good? The piping's in. The plumbing is done. And then I need the race chip. There you go, sir. Thank you. Oh. This comes out. That goes like that. And then... That's on. And then the last step. And then you just... Pop him down there. Mic drop. Simple as that. Drop it. There you have it. Even an idiot can install a race chip. The finishing touches are the awesome and at only 7.6 kilograms, super lightweight 18 inch Brayton wheels, which really transform the Mini from cute to kick ass in a matter of seconds and reduce unsprung weight for better acceleration and sharper handling. Okay, so we've done all the work that we intended to. The wheels and tyres on, the brake pads are on, suspension, the exhaust is in. That looks really, really good. You've done the race chip. You've actually done the biggest mod here, so yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now the final touch, obviously, is to get the car on the ground. We seem to think that it's going to be fairly low. And the rear will be slammed. The front yeah. might be okay, but the rear is going to need adjustment. Yeah. On its ass, so let's find out. Ethan, it's only right that you do the honours. Lower him down. After all I've done here. Yeah. <laughs> we are in, forever in your debt. Come on, bring it home, Ethan. Down. Oh, still, still oh, oh, wow. Oh, oh. Oh. That's low. It's going to get lower over the next yeah. few days That's as well. That's going to drop by three feet. That's wow. going to be in the ground. That, that looks so cool. You know something? I've never looked at a Mini and I thought, yeah, that's really cool. But this... With those wheels, with that ride height and the exhaust. I think we're all in agreement that this is one cool looking car and a job well done. Now I'm sure you've all been wondering how you can get your hands on this car. Well, there are two ways to enter. Firstly, if you find yourself at the SM Motor Show, then swing by the race chip stand where you can see this Mini and grab yourself a raffle ticket. Alternatively, you can buy yourself a race chip device from the Motor Show and there'll be extra tickets in the box. And if you can't make it to the Essen Motor Show, don't worry, all you need to do is follow Race Chip on Instagram and subscribe to their YouTube channel where they will put out a post to which you need to comment your country with I want that Mini. So again, to reiterate, you can win our Mini by either entering the raffle at the Essen Show or by following Race Chip on Instagram and YouTube where you'll have a chance to enter. Next week on our final Turbo Track Challenge episode, we'll be taking our Mini to the track to find out how it feels and performs. Oh, not enough grab handles in here. <laughs> I love it. I'm really impressed with it. Hey, oh, and then getting it back on the dyno for those all important results. So to make sure you don't miss out on any of that action, subscribe to Car Throttle over there and check out Race Chip down here. See you next time.